And we will begin in child's pose. So as you're ready, hit play on your playlist. Come to your first resting posture, child's pose. Just have your block nearby at the top of your mat. That's where it will be most useful. Let your uh, hips sink back towards your heels. Spread your knees as wide as feels comfortable. You can also bring your knees together to touch in child's pose. That is a completely acceptable version of the posture. If knees are together to touch, rather than arms outstretched long, bring your palms face up back next to your feet and compress yourself more into a little ball. Either version of child's pose, any other resting posture, it's a great place to begin your practice. Start to dial into your breath. And in fact, think of the connection to your breath as a meaningful connection, because that is 100% the focus of our practice today. We are beginning a little bit of study in the eighth limb of the eight limb yogic path. So the final limb, it's a concept called samadhi. And samadhi often translates as enlightenment or bliss or liberation. It is considered the place where your consciousness connects to a universal consciousness. And there is a sense of unity with the divine, with the universe, with the constructs around you. And with that in mind, we will begin by giving focus to connection because the word yoga actually means to connect, to unite. And I will define it today as meaningful connection. So as we move through our practice, I want you to go back to the very roots of your practice and your involvement with yoga. And two questions for you to reflect on and ponder as we move in flow. The first is what, what are the meaningful connections that you've experienced as a result of your yoga practice? And then secondly, how can you honor those connections in our flow and our time together today? With that in mind, let's unite our breath. Exhale the air from your lungs. Take a big breath in, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, release it out. Do that again, meaningful connection to your breath in. Connect meaningfully to your breath out. Seal your lips, begin your ujjayi pranayama breath in and out of your nose and recognize that breath is a meaningful connection. It is one of many and it is absolutely one that you can celebrate in this space, bring even more focus to as we move in flow. As I mentioned, our practice will be a little bit of everything to, again, experience all the different pieces that we may uh, become in part of as part of our yoga practice, as part of the movement, the postures, but knowing that it all goes much deeper than that. Add a little side stretch to the right. Walk your palms off the right side of your mat. Let your hips soften back down to your heels. You could bring your left ear down, your gaze to the right as well for a gentle neck stretch here. So just starting to feel a little lengthening in your left rib cage. Keep your forehead soft, your hips soft. Take a breath in and take a breath out. Make it way to the other side. Walk your palms back onto your mat and then all the way over towards the left, off the left side of your mat. Again, creating a little gentle lengthening lateral side stretch in your right side, but let everything else stay soft. Maybe you gaze to the left, soften your hips back down, soften your shoulders, breathe in my friends, and breathe out. Slowly bring your palms back onto your mat and press up to tabletop pose. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. And in this first tabletop, you get to move organically however you please. If you like a little ritual of some cat and cow at the beginning of your practice, you could totally do that. You could add in some wrist stretching, some uh, little movements in your hips, movements in your neck. You could twist, all sorts of options. Just allow yourself to move in a way that feels organic to you. And again, think about meaningful connection and honoring meaningful connection on your mat. And notice that the way you connect to your movement is a deepening of self-awareness, a deepening of that sense of consciousness, which is a big piece of what samadhi embodies. Be mindful of rights and lefts. And if you do something on one side, do it on the other. And then as you're ready, push back to your first downward facing dog. 
curl your toes under, lift through your hips. Find those little pedals, those wiggles, those movements that feel nice here. And then eventually come to stillness and downward facing dog. Press into your palms, especially where your thumb and your index finger meet to really wrap your shoulders up away from your ears and to push your tailbone to be the apex point of the posture. As you lift your tailbone higher, maybe notice a gentle bend in your knees will help point your tailbone up. Now engage your core, draw your navel in, wrap your frontal rib cage together, take a breath in, feel that length in your low back. Breathe out, soften your heels to your mat. Inhale, look to your palms. Exhale, ragdoll pose, step your feet forward behind your wrists. Any variation of ragdoll is welcome. So again, meaningful connection, especially in these moments where you have a little choose your own adventure in the postures, be very intentional about your choice. Notice how what informs your movement. Notice how breath connects to your movement. Switch your grip to the opposite side if you have one or take any other variation you'd like. Again, as we deepen into connection, all of this builds a foundation that the rest of your practice is laid on top of. Release your fingertips down to the mat. Bring your feet together to touch. Put a deep, deep bend in your knees and just slowly, intentionally come on up to a standing position. Lengthen your legs, lengthen your spine, reach to the crown of your head, gift yourself a couple of shoulder rolls, and take those shoulder rolls the opposite way, and then standing at an attention pose, Samastiti he push your thumbs to your heart and blink your eyes closed. In the name of meaningful connection, we always add connection to intention, because yoga is always about much more than the shapes we make on our mat. So what are you connecting to today? And it could be a little meta. <laughs> it could be that your connection is meaningful connection and inviting that opportunity, inviting the space to feel the connection to the universal, to the divine, to the things that bring us not only bliss, but freedom. Whatever your connection is, your intention, we'll send it out with breath. Exhale the air from your lungs. Take a big breath in, fill up. Open up, exhale, release it out. Seal your lips, breathe in through your nose. And through your nose, breathe out. Blink your eyes open, soften your palms down to your sides. Let's do sunny with breath. Inhale, mountain pose, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, add your back bend, push your hips forward as you lift your chest. Inhale, mountain pose, lengthen your spine, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge down to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, create that really long spine. Exhale, high to low plank, plant your palms, step back, bend your elbows to your ribcage. Inhale, upward facing dog, press into your palms. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Take a breath in and take a breath out. Let's go again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, feet to touch at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, mountain pose. Squeeze your legs together as you lengthen and rise. Exhale, back bend. Feel your sternum lift to the ceiling. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up high. Exhale, forward fold, hinge down to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. You could hold high plank or move from your knees instead. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Everybody connect to your inhale and connect to your exhale. Final Sunday is on your own. So move through one more time, exactly as we just did it, subtracting, adding, going a little bit rogue, doing something very freestyle, whatever you please. But remember, the goal is meaningful connection. Connect to the movement. Another piece of meaningful connection we honor in our practice is the connection of our movement to our breath. So notice as you're breathing, how that informs how you move, how it contributes to how you move. 
and just get lost in the opportunity to be in your body, to be connecting to yourself in a way that lifts us into a space of higher being. Beautiful choices, my friends. As you come to the end of this final Sunday, you are welcome to ground yourself in child's pose. I don't find down dog to be a particularly great posture to hang out in. So you're welcome to ground yourself in something a little more sustainable. We'll reconnect our breath with, you, with each other. Everybody take a breath in. And everybody take a breath out. Come to down dog if you're not there. One more inhale. And one more exhale. Let's do our sun B. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, lift your chest, reach your arms up to the sky, pause and breathe. Push your weight to the backs of your feet so that your weight comes more towards the back of your mat. That'll lift your hips back as well. Tuck your tailbone, lift your chest, feel your abdominals crunch, take a breath in. Exhale forward, fold, point your tailbone up. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, high to low plank, your version you like. We don't have many of those today. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, kick your right toes high. Exhale, knee to nose, really round your spine forward. Inhale, kick your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step through to your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, lift your chest, sweep your palms to the sky, pause and breathe right here. Really lean into your lunging leg, stack your right knee on top of your ankle, lift the back of your left thigh and squeeze at your inner thighs. Take a big breath in. Exhale, airplane arms, reach your fingertips to the back of the mat. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Push into your right foot, lengthen your right leg, bend your left knee up and breathe. You are totally welcome to stop in two-legged mountain to help you find a little stability as you bend your left knee up. Squeeze your glutes to level your hips. Shrug your shoulders down. Breathe in. Exhale, airplane pose. Kick your left big toe back. Point it back as you reach your chest forward. Broaden your collarbones. Lower your left hip. Strengthen through your standing leg. And inhale, warrior two. Push your left foot down at the back of your mat. Open your chest to the side. Reach through your fingertips. Breathe. Because we got here from a little bit different of a way, check out your stance. Make sure your right toes are pointing straight forward and the heel of your right foot aligns with the arch of your left foot as you look from the front to the back of your mat. Now extend your fingers long, take a big breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach your right arm forward and down. Lift your left arm up high. Rebend into your front leg. Open your chest to the side. Lift your gaze up. Inhale, star pose. Toes out, heels in as you lift. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Parallel your feet first. Bring your arms to a T and then hinge from your hips. The paralleling of your feet is an important part here. So make sure your toes are pointing straight to the side of your mat. Feet parallel to each other. First wide leg forward fold will bend, will uh, kind of deepen into this throughout the practice. So maybe you do a little deeper knee bend here. You can find a little rocks back to front of your mat, whatever might feel nice in this first deeper forward fold. And then to it, we'll add a twist to the front. So tense your left fingers under your left shoulder. Inhale, reach your right arm high. As you exhale, you can roll out your wrist, bend and straighten your elbow, deeper movement in your shoulder. You could also bring your block under your left palm as a way to lift your chest and really lengthen your spine. Take a breath in and your easy twist. Exhale, low lunge, walk your palms to the front of your mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick your right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the left side. Inhale, kick your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, really round your spine forward. Inhale, kick your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step between your hands. 
Inhale, crescent lunge, Anjade Asana. Tuck your tailbone, lift your chest, reach your arms to the sky, and breathe. So first lunging posture on the left side, really feel it underneath you. Push into your left heel, press to the ball of your right foot, and pivot your left hip crease back. Breathe in. Exhale, airplane arms, sweep your chest forward. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Charge into your left foot to lengthen your left leg. Bend your right knee up, breathe. Create a 90 degree bend in your right ankle, your right knee and your right hip. Level your hips with each other. Engage your pelvic floor, squeeze your inner thighs. Big breath in. Exhale, airplane pose. Sweep your chest forward, point your right big toe straight back and feel that extension in your back leg. Rather than opening your hips, dial your right hip down, broaden your chest, reach your fingertips back even further. Inhale, warrior two. Clench your right foot down at the back of your mat. Open your chest to the side. Breathe, my friends. Take a moment again to notice the alignment of your feet. Your heel on your left foot as you track it to the back aligns with the arch of your right foot. From there, lift your shoulders above your hips and open your chest to the side. Big breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward, then down as you sweep your right palm to the ceiling. Push your collarbones forward to lengthen your spine, then rotate it open more to the spine, to the side, and lift your gaze. Inhale, star pose. Make that big reach and rise up. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Remember, point your toes to the side of your mat first, then hinge from your hips. Couple more breaths here. Once again, please check out your feet. Ensure they are parallel to each other. Your toes pointing in the same direction as you're folding. Remember, bent knees are great at any forward fold, but feel that lift of your tailbone up. Add the easy twist, finger, right fingertips to the mat. Inhale, reach your left arm high. As you exhale again, you can roll out your left wrist, bend and straighten your left elbow, find some deeper motion in your left shoulder, and your block may be a great addition underneath your right hand. Inhale here in your twist. Exhale, low lunge, rock your fingertips forward. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick your left leg up. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's our sun B, you did great. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Let's flow it breath to movement, meaningful connection. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, come to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, chair pose, tuck your tailbone as you lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold, hinge down to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, any variation you want to do. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, kick your right toes up. Exhale, knee to nose, draw your shoulders right above your hips. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach your palms to the sky. Exhale, airplane arms, extend your fingertips to the back wall. Inhale, one-legged mountain, bend your left knee up. Exhale, airplane pose, point your left big toe back. Inhale, warrior two, open your chest to the side. Exhale, extended side angle, lift your gaze to the ceiling. Inhale, star pose, big reach and rise up. Exhale, wide leg forward fold, point your toes, hinge from your hips. Inhale, easy twist to the front. Exhale, low lunge, bend your right knee. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick your right leg up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, kick your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it all the way, or knee to nose, my bad. Inhale, kick your left leg high. Now exhale, low lunge, plant it between your feet. Inhale, crescent lunge, lift your chest, gaze forward. Exhale, airplane arms, broaden through your collarbones. 
Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Bend your left knee, uh, right knee up. Exhale, airplane pose. Reach your fingertips back. Inhale, warrior two. Open your chest to the side. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep that length in your side bodies. Inhale, star pose. Reach and rise up. Exhale, wide leg forward fold, in towards your mat. Inhale, easy twist, open to the front. Exhale, low lunge, walk your fingertips forward. Inhale, three-legged dog, you look fantastic. Exhale, downward facing dog. Everybody breathe in. And everybody breathe out. Let's add on our final time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, feet to touch at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit low, lift your chest. This time as you exhale, eagle on the right. Bring your right arm under your left, palms to touch or grab opposite shoulder. Stand on your left foot. Kick your right leg up and over. Maybe you do a little double wrap in your legs. Right big toe can come to the mat or somewhere in between. Pivot your hips back to the front. Lift your elbows in line with your shoulders. Sink into your stance a little bit more. We begin to add on a sense of meaningful connection to challenge. As we deepen into more challenging movement, consider that a way to honor the journey of your yoga experience. You're here for three. Back to chair pose in two. And one, back to chair, both feet down, both arms high, big breath in. Exhale, eagle on the left. Left arm under, left leg over. Same variations available as the other side. This side might feel a little bit more natural, a little bit less natural. So take a moment to modify and adapt as you need. Everything that is squeezed together, squeeze it even tighter. Sink lower into your stance. Make sure your hips are squaring to the front. Yes, you're here for three. Back to the chair pose in two. And one back to chair, both feet down, both arms up, big breath in. Exhale forward, fold, hinge down to your mat. Really nicely done. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, kick your right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, really round through your spine. Inhale, kick your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, plant your foot between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, use your core strength to help you lift. Exhale, airplane arms, reach, reach, reach behind you. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose, bend your left knee up. This time as you exhale, we'll set up dancer. Kick your left heel to your seat, point your left knee down and capture the inside edge of your foot. From there, bring your knees back together to touch, big breath in. Exhale, dancer pose. Kick your left knee back, hinge your chest forward, it is a different way, a different time in class than we normally experience dancer. So it's another opportunity to notice what meaningful connection to the posture is like. Maybe it feels stronger. Maybe this Saturday is a little wobbly. I'm wobblier on Saturdays. I don't know why, but use it as a chance to create consciousness. You're here for three. Airplane pose is your release in two. And one release to airplane pose. And then we move on. Inhale, warrior two, plant your foot down at the back of your mat. Exhale, extended side angle, come back to that breath connection. Inhale, star pose, big reach and rise up. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Maybe your folds start to get a little deeper. Inhale, easy twist, open to the front. Exhale, low lunge, walk your palms to the front. Inhale, three-legged dog, reach it up. This time, exhale back to knee to nose. Now keep your hips low. Inhale, one-legged plank, kick your right heel back. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, bring it to your arm. Inhale, one-legged plank, kick it back. 
twist it, exhale, right knee to left elbow. Do it all again, inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, knee to nose, round it. Use your breath, inhale, one-legged plank, hips stay low. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, one-legged plank, nice and steady. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, high plank pose, both feet down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's do the final side. Inhale, kick your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, round it forward. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge, big reach and rise up. Exhale, airplane arms, broaden through your heart space. Inhale, one-legged mountain, bend your right knee up. Exhale, set up dancer, Natra Jasana. Point your right knee down, grab the inside edge of your foot, knees to touch, big breath in. Exhale, dance, dancer's pose, and as much depth as you want to do. Remember, meaningful connection to challenge. What does that look like? How are there opportunities to see the challenge in your practice as an ex exposition on bliss? That's a really interesting thing to consider. We'll unpack that more in the weeks to come. You're here for three. Back to airplane pose in two. And one airplane pose, release everything to the back. Let's finish it out. Inhale, warrior two, adjust your feet as you need. Exhale, extended side angle, keep that side body length. Inhale, star, open to the side. Exhale, wide leg forward fold, hinge down to your mat. Inhale, easy twist, one more time to the front. Exhale, low lunge, walk your fingertips forward. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick it up. Exhale, knee to nose, round it in. Inhale, one-legged plank, hips stay low. Exhale, knee to same elbow. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Do it again. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, twist it over. Inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ufta, take a big breath in and a full breath out. Do it again, loud inhale, even louder exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step all the way through, come down to a seat. Whew. Trying to do that plank stuff and talk at the same time is something I have yet to master, so. Kudos to you, really, really nice job. Uh, we're gonna come back, we're gonna twist a little deeper. We're gonna add in some hip stretching, some hamstring quad stretching as well. Again, trying to get a little bit of everything, a little more back bending too. So before we do all those things, let's do a little core strengthening work. So come down to your back. Uh, it's kind of a choose your own adventure to start. So you can either do recline bound angle sit-ups, feet together, uh, knees open wide or basic crunches. So feet on the mat, knees up towards the ceiling. Interlace your hands behind your head either way. Inhale, push your low back down. Exhale, lift your chest up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift your chest. Inhales, lower you down. Exhales, lift you up. So in these core crunches, the goal is to keep your low back pushed to the mat the entire time. That's how you're really using your core strength rather than momentum or any tension in your shoulders to be what's lifting your chest. Exhales help you lift. Exhales help you lift. You're here for four, three, add that pulse in two, and one, add the pulse, one inch up, one inch down, low back glued to the mat. Here for four, three, hold it high in two, and one, add the hold for four, tiny bit higher for three, bicycle twist in two, last one, bicycle twist. Twist it right to left, right to left. This is actually your final core exercise. We already did those one-legged planks, so this is it. So really empower your breath to help you deepen into this movement. Maybe you add some straight legs and a little scissor kick. Maybe you keep your feet planted on the mat. Maybe knees stay stacked over hips. All are great options 
choose your own adventure, meaningfully connect to what feels right to you. Four, four, three, pulse it to the right. In one, pulse it right. Four, four, left shoulder up for three, pulse it left in two, last one to the left. Four, four, three, long body stretch in two, Last one, long body stretch, arms long, legs long. See, short and simple today. Big breath in and big breath out. Draw your knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side first, but then begin to get some vigorous rock and rolls forwards and backwards and meet me in a seat of meditation. So that could be cross-legged on your mat. That could be seated on your heels your block, whatever allows you to feel really rooted underneath you, low back nice and long, lift your sternum up. Your hands could come to your thighs. You could take a mudra, anything you wanna do with your hands. Once you've made a choice with your hands in your seat, close your eyes. If you were around for our last ex the exploration of Dhyana, the seventh limb, we did a lot of meditation. So today we're just going to do one uh, seated meditation in the middle of our practice, about a minute here. And again, in the name of meaningful connection, stay connected to the practice, connect to whatever's moving through you today. Be curious, be open before we begin our second half. Three more breaths, my friends. Powerful, steady, rhythmic breathing. When that third breath feels complete, gently blink your eyes open, maybe grab a little water. We'll meet in downward facing dog as you're ready. As you come into the downward facing dog, a reminder of the two questions uh, I offered up to you as a piece of reflection in your practice today. What meaningful connections have you experienced in your yoga journey? And how can you honor and celebrate those meaningful connections in our practice today? And how have you already honored and celebrated those meaningful connections in your practice today? Everyone breathe in. And breathe out. One more time. Inhale. Through your nose, exhale. Inhale, kick your right leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Drop your heel towards your seat. Lift your right hip higher and you could roll out your ankle. You could kick your leg. You could roll out your hip joint. Keep both palms to the mat for now. We'll actually flip the posture over at the end of our sequence. Nice. Inhale, kick your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Step all the way to your hands. This time, inhale, warrior one. Plant your left foot down at the back of your mat. Bend into your right knee. Lift your chest, reach your arms up high, and breathe in warrior one. So keep your shoulders stacked right above your hips. Wrap your shoulder blades down. Work towards hip square to the front. So that means right hip back, left hip forward, though they may not ever be perfectly square, and that's fine. Take a big breath in. Exhale, open twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. And inhale, exalted warrior. Drop your right palm down your left leg. Reach your left arm up to the sky and breathe. Keep your lunging legs. Swivel your chest back towards the front. The more you creep your right fingertips down, the more you lift your left palm higher. Feel that opening your chest, that opening your throat, really rooted under your feet, 
onto your yoga foundation, your mat. You're here for three. Back to warrior one in two. And one, back to warrior one. Reach your chest forward and extend your palms up high. Breathe in. Exhale, warrior three. Push forward onto your right foot. Kick your left heel up and off the mat. Reach your chest forward, biceps to the ears. Thumbs could come to heart center. Lengthen your low back, strengthen through your standing leg. You're here for three. Step back to crescent lunge this time in two. And one, step back to crescent lunge. So as you plant your left foot, keep your heel lifted. Reach your palms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, bring your thumbs to heart center. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, revolve crescent lunge. Let's twist a little deeper. Bring your left arm on top of your right leg. Remember, coming down to your back knee is an awesome twisting option here. Gets a really good stretch in your glute. You could also open your arms to fly once you've got that uh, initial connection. From there, you could half bind, you could full bind. The goal is to connect, right? So how does connection happen in this twist? Inhales, feel that length in your spine. And as you exhale, can you twist open even a little bit more to the right? Everything that's touching the ground roots you and supports this twist. Here for three. Back to crescent lunge in two. And one, inhale back up to crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, arms open wide. Inhale, reverse triangle, push into your right big toe as you lift up. Exhale, triangle pose, press your hips back, reach forward, then drop your right arm down as you reach your left arm high. Micro bend your right knee, open your chest to the side, push your collarbones forward and press your tailbone in the opposite direction to really keep your side bodies and your spine super, super long. From there, lift your gaze up. You're here for three. You look fantastic. Wide leg forward, fold in two. And one, wide leg forward, fold. Point your toes to the side. Hinge from your hips. We're going to hold these last two wide leg forward folds we do here. So this is a great chance to move into something different if you'd like. You could uh, certainly do the twisting we were doing. You could do a little skandasana. Uh, if you have an inversion practice and you'd like to go upside down, well, you're already upside down. Your head is lower than your heart. But if you want to bring your feet off the mat upside down, you could totally do that. If you got a wall nearby, that can be a really great way to practice those inversion postures in your own home. That's what I do if I'm doing them. But as always, back to connection. What's moving through you right now? Connection to your own energy. We spent like three, four months last summer talking about the chakra system. All of that is a piece of this as well. As you bring balance to your energetic body, what do you notice moving through you today? If you're not in wide leg forward fold, begin to make your way back. From wide leg forward fold, we'll set up pyramid pose. So point all of your toes forward, uh, frame your right foot with your fingertips or bring your hand on top of your block in front of your right big toe. Get really straight in your back leg, bend your right knee as much as you need. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Exhale, fold down over your right leg. Remember, pyramid pose, you're essentially creating that pyramid shape in your legs. So nice straight legs, but it's really the back one that really needs to be straight. The front one can bend as much as your body needs for mobility. When you bend into your front knee, that means you're bringing more weight forward. So transfer some weight to your back foot, yes. And you'll notice a change in sensation when you distribute the weight differently. Inhales get longer in your low back. Exhale, fold deeper over your leg. Here for three. Runner's lunge in two. And one, runner's lunge. Push your palms to the inside of your right foot. From there, come down to your left knee. Your pyramid stance is short, so you'll want to really take a bigger stance from front to back on your mat for this runner's lunge. Really toe heel your right toes up and out. Maybe you bring your left knee back a little bit more. From here, this is a great quad stretch sequence to go with that uh, pyramid pose. So kick your right heel in, and with your left hand, grab the top of your right foot. 
Could also bring your block here underneath anything that's touching the ground, your left knee, your palms, your forearms. <sighs> and let it uh, feel sustainable, you know? Take, a, take the opportunity to really breathe into this moment and release into the pose. And then quad stretches release. Bring your palms back onto the mat, curl your back toes under. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick your right leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. And this time, opportunity to flip your posture. Stamp your right foot down outside your mat. Push your hip points up, reach, reach, reach your right fingertips beyond the front of your mat. Round under your left palm to help lift your hips. Open your chest, feel your throat open as well. Here for three, three-legged dog in two and one. Gorgeous job, y'all. Nice here, uh, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Everybody breathe in. I got so excited about it, I forgot what I was saying. And then breathe out. Let's do the last side. Inhale, kick your left leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. This time we'll just stay here to feel it out. So feel your left hip lift. Maybe you roll out your wrist or your, your ankle. Words are hard this morning. It's always when I'm recording. You can kick your leg, keep your palms rooted on the mat for now. We'll flip the posture over in a little bit. And inhale, kick your left leg up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, kick your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step through to your hands. Inhale, warrior one, ground your right foot down at the back of your mat. Lift your chest, reach your palms up high, and breathe. So as you know, we're setting up an exalted warrior. So feel that really firm foundation. Bend into your left knee, really charge into your back leg. Feel your glute, your right glute flex. Take a big breath and lengthen your low back. Exhale, open twist, reach your right fingertips forward. And then inhale, exalted warrior. Drop your left hand down your right leg or your right glute. Reach your right arm high, look up and breathe. This posture more than any other, in my opinion, signifies this eight limb path. You are starting from a space where you are firmly rooted, you are firmly grounded, and then you rise and open till you are literally reaching and connecting to something above you, beyond you, but very much here. Amazing focus, you're doing so great. You're here for three. Back to warrior one in two and one. Back to warrior one. Gaze forward, reach up, take a big breath in. One more balancing posture. Exhale, warrior three. Push forward onto your left foot. Kick your right heel up and back. Remember, thumbs can come to heart center instead. If you're reaching your fingertips forward, really lean into your core strength. Lift your navel up, firm up your low back ground into your standing powerful leg. Amazing, you're here for three. Yes, and that step back to crescent lunge in two. And one, nice job, Alyssa. Step back to crescent lunge, right heel stays lifted this time, big breath in. Exhale, bring your thumbs to heart center. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Bring your right arm on top of your left leg. If you're like me and you prefer the kneeling version, go for it. I prefer it for a couple of reasons. One, I find crescent lunge to be a really wobbly posture for me. So adding anything onto it makes it even more wobbly. So it's much more stable to have the back knee down. Two, I think it feels like a really good twist and a really good stretch in my glute. And with your back knee down, there's more opportunity to indulge those pieces. Remember, inhales, you get a little longer. Exhale as you twist a little deeper for three. Back to crescent lunge in two. And one back to crescent lunge, reach forward, reach up, a big breath in. Exhale, warrior two, reconnect to your breath. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Remember, reach forward first, then drop your left hand down and extend your right arm up. That reach forward is what encourages your side bodies to stay super long rather than rounding towards your mat. 
Connect your left palm to your block or your shin, or connect your left forearm to your left inner thigh. Once you've made that connection, push your hips back, open your chest more to the side, lift your gaze up. Amazing, beautiful James, you're here for three. Wide leg forward fold in two, and one. Nice, Julie. Wide leg forward fold, point your toes, hinge from your hips. Final wide leg forward fold is this one here. So it is a great opportunity to do anything you want to do. And note that that can mean staying in wide leg forward fold. The invitation to add on is never a must. And in fact, the meaningful connection might be simplicity, right? Ego doesn't need to be an informer in yoga. And in fact, it is not a piece of samadhi in any way, shape or form. This is something beyond ego, something that replaces ego in many ways. So just notice how your choices happen and where the choices stem from. Those subtle shifts, my friends, are part of the magic of yoga. We learn to see differently, behave differently, show up differently because of the connection to these principles. If you're not in wide leg forward fold, begin to make your way back there. As you know, pyramid pose is next. So as you're ready, set it up. Both feet stay flat on the mat. So you wanna shorten your stance so that's possible. And all of your toes point forward, this time framing your left toes with your fingertips or push your block down in front of your left big toe and press into your block. Super straighten your back leg, bend your left knee as much as you need, breathe in. Fold down as you breathe out. And again, remember back leg super straight and strong, left knee bends as much as you need, but once you're bending into your leg, you're pushing your weight towards that leg, so really distribute weight towards the back of your mat. Feel your tailbone lift as your chest softens down. This particular stretch can be a pretty intense one, so that connection to breath is an important piece of your experience. You're here for three. Runner's lunge in two. And one, runner's lunge. Congrats, you're done standing in your practice for today. So bring your back knee down, palms to the mat. If you quad stretched on the other side, give it a go here as well. Or take any other variation you want to do. <sighs> so samadhi, again, is this uh, very, very uh, awesome awesome slash aspirational, or it can probably feel aspirational. I'll speak for myself. It feels aspirational to me to consider this concept. But I think it's important to note that for the past two years, and almost all of you, maybe literally all of you have been on this journey for the past two years, that we've been building up to this. We have systematically been exploring and engaging in all eight of these limbs in a very intentional um, and not rushed manner. So I invite you to lean into liberation, to lean into bliss, to that feeling of freedom, that engagement in knowledge of self and connection, because that is very much what we have equipped ourselves to be able to do. Quad stretches release, come back to your runner's lunge, press your palms down, curl your back toes under, inhale three-legged dog, kick your left leg up, Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, and then from here, flip your posture if you please. Stamp your left foot down, press into your right palm to lift your hips. Reach, reach, reach your left fingertips forward. Really, really opening through your heart, opening through your throat. That's it, Roxy. Beautiful choices, Kelly. You're here for three. Back to three-legged dog in two. And one, palms down, leg high, big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. How fabulous are we? Happy Saturday. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's wind it down. Inhale, kick your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Bring your knee to your wrist. Point your left toes straight back. 
and take a moment to set it up. I think the most important thing to notice as you're setting up half pigeon is that your legs are doing opposite motions. Your right leg is bending and your foot is flexing. Your left leg is lengthening and your left foot is pointing. So once you feel set in your lower half, set up your upper half. Maybe you keep a lifted chest. Maybe you lower your chest down and rest. Bring your block with you to support you. Or you could roll to your back or come to a seat as well. For a seated pigeon, supine pigeon, we're not gonna be here long today because we've spent a lot of time in other places. But just really engage here for a couple breaths. Remember, what does meaningful connection look like? How can you honor that as part of your practice today? Gently, gently, gently make your way to the other side. Walk your palms back onto your mat. Curl your toes under. You could find some counter stretches, wiggles along the way. And eventually come back through down dog and then set up the left side from there. Lift your left leg up. Bring your knee to your wrist. Keep a flex in your toes. Point your right toes straight back. And you keep that lift of your chest. Notice the bending and flexing in your left leg, the straightening and pointing in your right, and then lower into any version of half pigeon you'd like just for a couple breaths today. So we're gonna spend a fair amount of time exploring Samadhi because why not, right? It's a nice place to spend some time working into a space of bliss, noticing what liberation looks like for us. Uh, engaging in a journey of enlightenment. Those are all three things that we are going to give a little bit more time and attention to through a yoga philosophical lens. Make your way back from your final half pigeon, walk your palms onto your mat, lift your hips. Remember some pedals, some wiggles, totally Totally great ideas here. If you're on your back, we'll, we'll be with you in just a breath or two. From your final down dog, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step all the way through, legs out long in front of you, arms out long in front of you, one more breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down to your back, one vertebra at a time, and then happy baby awaits you. Hug your knees and your chest. Grab your feet, your shins, behind your knees, whatever feels accessible and rock a little side to side. Let it feel lovely, maybe a little kick of your feet, a little straightening in your legs. Close your eyes if you'd like. We've just found our final postures here. So vision isn't quite as necessary for these moments. And then we will end with a supine twist. So hug your knees into your chest, extend your left leg long, keep your right knee in, use your left hand to guide your right knee across, and at the same time, reach your right arm open next to you. <sighs> really just soften into these final twists. Let it feel very gentle, very graceful. We become the embodiment of bliss when we explore samadhi. How cool is that? I love that. Slowly come back to center. Give your leg a squeeze and then switch it out. We'll do the other side, right leg long, hug your left knee in. Use your right hand to guide your left knee over and reach your left arm open next to you. Remember, it's a gentle twist. It is not meant to be an active twist. We did that already. This one is about neutralizing, letting go, preparing for that moment of surrender that comes in just a few breaths. Now slowly bring yourself back to center. 
Gather both knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, pull your forehead to your knees and your chin to your chest. As you're hugged into that tiny ball, take a big breath in and squeeze yourself even more. Open mouth, exhale, corpse pose, Shavasana. Legs long, arms long. Really trying to save lots of time for Shavasana. So you've got plenty of time here. There is no rush. There is no hurry. So make yourself comfortable. Really relax the things you can relax. We often hold tension in our jaw, shoulders, glutes. Those are three places to really invite yourself to soften. And just let go. Enjoy. Remember, a space of bliss liberation and enlightenment. Can you lean into those pieces for these next few minutes? I'll guard you out shortly, but not too shortly. We're going to take our time with this. So really relax and enjoy. I'll guide you out. Still the best way to start a Saturday that I could possibly ever imagine. So thank you for being here and um, choosing to start your day this way as well. As you are ready to bring all of this exploration, this meaningful connection to life off of your mat, just start to do so gently. Wiggle your fingertips, wiggle your toes. Roll out your wrists, wag your feet side to side, start to open and close your jaw and rock your chin shoulder to shoulder. And eventually come to a long body stretch. Stretch your fingertips back, point your toes forward, big breath in, feel that stretch grow even longer. Big breath out, let that feel so good. Draw your knees in. Roll to a fetal posture on either side. Your bicep is a lovely little pillow for you. And take just a moment here to enjoy that sense of, of renewal, of repurpose that comes with yoga and all of the other little magical pieces that may be present for you today as well. And then slowly walk yourself up to a comfortable seat, face the front of your mat. Sit up nice and tall, just like we did our halfway meditation point. Root yourself down. Lift your chest, this time bring your thumbs to heart center and close your eyes. And take a moment to acknowledge the inner journey, my friends. These final limbs of this eight-limbed path are very much about a deeper, more intimate connection with self. And kudos to you for being willing to participate and explore in that manner. And bring your thumbs to your third eye, a source of enlightenment. Uh, intuition, humility, all of the things that open us to a way of seeing a vision for who we are that yoga makes possible. So glad you're here. Bowing forward, we seal our practice. Peace, my friends.